Hi, I'm Tagore Smith from Notional Pipe, and this is the second in our series of videos giving a quick look at some of the features of Contour Rig Tools, our new spline-based rigging tool. In our last video, we took a look at Contour's spline-based deformation. In this one, we'll see how you can use Contour to drive conventional joints for game engine export, and other cases where custom deformers aren't an option. Here's the arm rig we built in the last video. You can see that the Contour deformer handles stretch and twist for us, something that's normally a pain to set up. If we want to get the same advantages with conventional joints, we'll need to attach them to the contour rig with contour spline constraints. We can control where this joint attaches to the spline by setting the value of the constraint's parameter attribute. The parameter attribute is a whole number at the position of each joint, so a value of 1.5 would fall halfway between the first and second joint. Placing a lot of joints by hand would be a pain, so we're going to use a very simple script that Raf Anzevin wrote. This script uses Contour's Python API to place the joints along the spline. We'll create a cluster for the contour deformed version of the arm and offset it so we can see the contour deformation side by side with a linear blend version. Let's bind it. As you can see, we're already getting some of the benefits of Contour's spline-based rigging, even though we're using it to drive conventional joints. Twist and stretch are doing the right thing automatically, but as is usually true of linear blend skinning, the default weights aren't quite right. Because we're using conventional joints, we'll have to fix that using Maya's weight painting tool, as we would with any conventional rig. Since that can be time consuming, we'll skip ahead to show the fixed weights. Usually, when you paint weights for a Maya joint, you want them to span the length of its bone. But since these joints are being used to approximate a spline, we want the weights to be more centered around each joint. The three Maya joints clustered around each contour joint help to prevent too much volume loss, and we're getting better results now, but the contour deformed version is still much better. We can't create exactly the same shapes using linear blend weighting, but we can approximate them better by driving additional joints using the contour deform field constraint. The contour deform field constraint positions the joint as if it were being deformed by the deformer. Note how it doesn't collapse inward as much as the linear blend weighted mesh does. We can paint a bit of the elbow to it to give you a better approximation of what the contour deformer gives you for free. While rigging by driving Maya joints isn't as easy or visually pleasing as Contour's own deformation, it can still save you an enormous amount of work by removing the complex and brittle systems we use to do the same things in conventional rigging. We think Contour is the best and easiest way to create flexible rigs, no matter what type of deformation you use. In our next video, we'll take a look at how Contour's deformation can come to our rescue when we're faced with one of the most difficult deformation challenges rigging thick shapes that need to bend cleanly. So please like and subscribe if you'd like to be notified when that video is up.